In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Game Changers. I'll give you my thoughts about it and also the top three things that you need to know. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com. And if you're new here to the channel, I do a lot of videos around plant-based nutrition, including healthy hacks, recipes, taste tests, shopping videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. So I recently attended the premiere of the movie called The Game Changers. And if you're not familiar with The Game Changers, it's a documentary about athletes who've gone either plant-based or vegan and it discusses their journey, why they did it, how they're feeling, their performance afterwards. And what's really unique about this is it just focuses on athletes. Now, we've had a lot of other movies and documentaries like Forks Over Knives and What the Health that were more health-based. And we've also had some that focus on the environment and animal rights. But this is the first movie that really discusses plant-based nutrition with athletes and their performance afterwards. Now, when I say athletes, I'm talking about the full spectrum of athletes. They mention runners and endurance athletes all the way to NFL players and bodybuilders and weightlifters. And they also do stories from both men and women. So you really have an understanding of everybody involved in this documentary. And they don't get too deep on any difficult scientific theories. And it's not fear-based, so you're not sitting there feeling bad if you're not plant-based or vegan while watching this. It really just provides you with the information and they do it in a very approachable and comfortable way, which is something that I really enjoy. So without any further delay, let's get into the top three things you need to know about the Game Changers. Number one, protein. And this is a question that I get just about plant-based nutrition in general, is where do you get your protein from? Because most people get their protein or think they need to get their protein from animal-based sources. And this documentary, they do a really good job of describing the different sources of plant-based protein, how much people really need. And athletes do need a little more just because of the physical activity they're in, but it breaks it down to just how normal people actually get enough protein on a plant-based diet based on what you really need. And they also go into how protein breaks down in the body and how it's absorbed. And what I really liked is they took real athletes and performed simple tests on them to show them how a plant-based diet could actually increase their performance. Now, one of the tests they did featured NFL players from the Miami Dolphins. And what they did is they fed them two different types of burritos at different times. So one was an animal-based burrito and the other was a strictly plant-based burrito. And then they did blood tests right after eating them. And what they found is that after eating a plant-based burrito, their blood flow actually increased, which would help with their overall performance on the field. And if you're interested about the different sources of plant-based protein, I did a video talking about the top 25 sources of plant-based protein. I'll go ahead and link that video as well as a free guide that I created that you can download in the description box below so you can check it out. Number two, a non-judgmental approach. Now, if you've watched any of my videos previously, you know that I'm a big fan of this. I truly believe that people need to find the right diet that works for them. And I'm not a big fan of pressuring somebody to go vegan right away. For most people, just eating more fruits and veggies is a big step for them. Just going meatless Monday or going plant-based one day a week, that's something that needs to be celebrated and is a sense of accomplishment. If somebody is eating a standard American diet, making these changes is a huge shift in just the way people think about food. And there's a few times in the Game Changers movie where they talk about this. So one of the examples involves former NFL player Derek Morgan and his wife Charity Morgan, who is a vegan chef. Now they were both featured in the Game Changers movie. And they give an example where if they're out to eat and somebody orders meat, they don't judge that person for ordering meat and putting that on their plate. Rather, they like to lead by example. So they give an instance where Derek's training at the facility and Charity cooks some food. And then the other players are like, that food looks better and tastes better than what I'm having. So they become interested in learning about plant-based nutrition and how it can affect their performance. So he ends up inviting different players over for dinner and it really becomes a nice event where people can actually educate themselves rather than judging somebody about what they had on their plate before that. Now, another example involves a special operations military sniper turned anti-poacher. Now they talk about his story about being a sniper and now being an anti-poacher and how he's protecting all these endangered species and how we started to feel guilty about protecting certain types of animals during the day, but then coming home and having other ones for dinner. And over time, he just realized that he couldn't live with that decision. So he went vegan and decided not to have any more animal products. And I think it's really powerful that he made that shift on his own just by seeing what was on his plate and seeing what he was doing during the day and making that connection. Number three, humor. 
So no documentary is complete without a little humor, and there were a couple parts in the movie that definitely made me chuckle a little bit. Now the first one was with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he talks about the marketing of the meat industry. And he talks about, you know, hungry man dinner and every man needs a steak in their hand. And then they play all these commercials like back to back showing how men eat meat. And when you watch all these commercials in a row, it did kind of make me chuckle a little bit because I remember those commercials. And at the time, I didn't really think about the marketing aspect of it, but now I definitely look at things differently. And here you have one of the most famous bodybuilders and talking about eating less meat and going against what these advertisements are pushing. Now, another moment that generated probably the most laughs in the entire Game Changers movie is when they took three male college athletes. And just like the NFL players, they gave them one day of animal-based food and then another day of plant-based food. And at night, they hooked them up to some equipment and monitored, for lack of a better word, their <laughs> And what they came to find out is that after a day of eating plant-based food compared to animal-based food, there was um, a little more action down there, a little more movement. And so while they're actually reading the results and they're looking at the increases and activity and everything going on, one of the guys actually makes a comment that for Valentine's Day, he's taking his girlfriend to Veggie Grill. And I've actually been thinking about making a video about this topic. So let me know in the comments if that's a video you want to see, or maybe you know somebody that wants to see it. Now, obviously the Game Changers is a movie about plant-based nutrition, but whether you're vegan or not, I think they do a really good job of showing you the benefits of a plant-based diet and how athletes can not only survive, but thrive on this diet and maybe possibly make even the biggest meat eater think twice about what they're ordering next time. And maybe, just maybe, opt for some plant-based options and eat some veggies. So leave me a comment, let me know if you've seen the Game Changers movie, if you plan on seeing it, and your thoughts about a documentary featuring plant-based athletes. And as always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, and remember to keep living fit from food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.